Hello, Senior Scry. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. This episode, we're going to be going over a few different things. I've updated to 1.04. There's a few uh, changes. One of them is that there are now Botania achievements. I've done a few of them, but some of them might be fun, like this one. Talent Shredder. Dig through the world using a, S a rank SS Terror Shatterer. Raise the ground up to the sky with power XX Shard. Two-Faced Lovers. I have no idea what that is. Oh, well. Slay a Gaia Guardian without wearing any armor at any point during the fight. That could be tough. Stun 100 or more mobs at once with a signal fire. That... How am I going to get that made together? Rotten here saying chocolate infuse and eat a delicious mana cookie? Should have a cookie left. I'm guessing I just chuck it in. Turn off my magnet. I put a spark above here. I'm hoping it works now. Mana cookie. Rotten heresy and chocolate. Hmm. Achievements. Well, that one's done. Make a spark. Uh, make a tiny potato. How do I make a tiny potato? Chuck a potato in there. Okay, why not? I don't think I've ever made this before. That's a lot of poisonous potatoes. Wait, this is on change mode. Oops, I had the magnet off. And up we go. Because I just realized I don't need to actually do that. I can just take the potato wait, and chuck it in this one. Which I believe... Yes. Little potato buddy. I'm going to put him... This corner seems pretty empty. Let's put a little potato friend here. And look. Just be friends. Ha ha ha. Achievements. What else is there? Created an endo flame to boost mana production. We don't have an endo flame right there. Oh, okay. Achievements. These are all pretty easy, but down here they're like what are all these? Use a runic altar to create a rune. And then that opens up Terra Steel. Oh yeah, I was gonna see if I could actually make a uh, Terra Steel now. Come on, don't slide me along the edge there. Need a diamond. Iron ingot. And a pearl. There. There, there. Okay. Now these all should just go on this. Maybe I just don't know how to use sparks properly. Uh, mana manipulation. Sparks. Sparks are interesting entities created from a combination of raw energy and mana. They have the ability to be placed on top of a few specific mana containing or accepting bo blocks, mainly mana pool. Some blocks have the ability to harness mana from sparks, but the user, but the uses for them seem limited to a few blocks right now. Placing a spark on top of a mana pool and another on top of a block that can accept it will allow for the... Oh! I need another spark! Maybe this is why it didn't work. I should have some spares... There we go. Was this why it didn't, it didn't work last time? A uh, spark. There we go. And I got the achievement for making a spark. No! 
Oh, look! And a connection symbol there. Okay. But nothing is happening. I did have them all infused, right? Mana pearl, mana steel, mana diamond. Ah. Uh, go back. And on top of a block that can accept it, allow for the ladder to remotely access or absorb the mana pull when needed, given it's not too far away. To move a spark, simply shift right click it with a wand of the forest. Regular right clicking shows which other sparks it can transfer to. Shift right click. Or maybe that's with the wand of the forest. Yeah. Shows where it transfers to. What about you? Okay. Let's look up Terra Steel. No. What would it be under? Let's look up Terra Steel here. Terra Steel. Terra Steel is a complex magical alloy infused with a great amount of mana. Country proves not to be a small task. Created when required Terra Steel ag agglomeration plates set on top of a checkerboard pattern of lapis lazuli blocks and living rock. Oh. That's new. And living rock. Mana would need to be provided to this block. Sparks would be the most effective way. Okay. Absolutely, living rock. Does that mean checkerboard? I'm guessing living rock is underneath it. Okay, um. I could probably put it under there. Oh, I need more living rock. Stone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, finally I've figured out how to do this right. So was this my fault the entire time that I wasn't doing it right? But I was sure I didn't see that checkerboard thing there before. And while that's working, get some lapis lazuli. I was like, I only have 38. Oh, sorry, 38,000. My mistake. Oops. Don't want to lose any blocks. There we go. One there. One there. I will put this one here, but I need a living rock. Come on, you should be about done, shouldn't you? Yeah, I see little sparks. It is converting. And... What am I at? There it goes. 27 million. Oops. Okay, living rock. Need one there. There we go, one there. Mapis. Okay. Now let's see if it'll do anything. Do I need to pick it up? Nah. I'm sure it'll be able to sense it. And... 
Oh, it's draining mana, I think. Because this thing is being drained fast. I'm hoping that means it's working. Holy crap, is that being drained fast. Come on, Terra Steel. Yes! I got it to work! Yay! Isn't there an achievement for that? No, there's one for that, one for that. I already did that. So I got everything up here. Just need to use that to open up the... Oh, really? Didn't quite have that one yet. World Calling? I don't know, I want to eventually get all these, but how do I make it? If I'm gonna make that, probably need more Terra Steel. So I guess I can wait. Well, that's enough messing around with this. Let's do something else. Because there's also... I'm just happy I know how to work that now. That was my fault. And it froze? Okay, there we go. Put that away and that away. Let's put these in here for now. Same with the living rock. You don't go in there. You go in there. Clear my inventory out a bit. That. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. 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 I guess I'll keep, get rid of the lever. Keep the rest. How fast is it charging up? Pretty fast. It's nearly full as you can see right there. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. There's quite a, there's a few things that popped up since updating. Like, what's this? Focal manipulation. One foci remade. Scribing tools and paper. Hoping those will work. Camera, yeah, they can. Let's grab, like, half a stack. Or, half of what I got. Out of the rain. No, the desk. Okay, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I might as well get you to watch. Humanus and Instrumentum. Let's go for Instrumentum. Because then I can just use Ordo and Ordo, and that'll go into something else, but let's go for Magica. Potentia. Ordo. What Ordo thing? Oh, I've got a lot of potential. Might as well just do that then. And Crystallis. Oh, Vitreous. There we go. Focal, focal manipulation. What does this do? One folk are capable of amazing feats, but they aren't very flexible. A single focus is seldom capable of performing more than a single function. You have discovered a way to upgrade basic folk to alter the way they manipulate magic. You simply need to place a focus in the focal manipulator and choose the upgrade you wish to apply to it. You also need to pry it with viz from relays and spend experience points to get the process started, but after that is a simple matter of waiting. Each focus can be upgraded up to five times. Okay. What about the ones I already have? Or shift F. Yes. Oh, it, I, hit, I hit I for inventory. It's not magical. Maybe all the enchants were removed from all the focuses I had? No, one focus primal. Wait, it looks like it's enchanted, but... As soon as I'm breaking three, this one has nothing on it. That's weird. But there's another more important one. We'll look in that in a sec. Eldritch. Opening the eye. I think we finally have access to the thing I was talking about before. With this research, I hope. 
Oh, this is really tight. Lux Void. Fire and Spirit. How am I gonna do this? Alienus, okay. So we need to somehow mix the mind with Spiritus. I'm guessing. Spiritus Mortis. And the brain will go to Wait, I can actually go fire light. Yes, fire lux. Okay, that's connected. Iter Terra. Trippian Chaos. Permutatio. That'll work fine with these. Vampire Spider was scrammed up into bits. Yeah, apparently there's boss monsters or something now? I'm not quite sure what they are. Terran Motus. Motus and Ordo. Ordo. Oops. I meant Ordo. And I just need permutatio. Yes. This is, I think, going to be a very important one. And why did that just go weird? Oh, well. Whoa, 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 what are these? It was also simple. You are amazed that Crimson Cultists have never discovered this. To, per to perform the ritual, you simply need to place four Eldritch Eyes on the specially marked keystone found at one of the strange altars where you first discovered the cult. The sinister note above the keystone will remain intact. Once this is done, it is a simple matter of infusing a large amount of primal vis into the keystone with a wand. A hundred units of each should be sufficient. If you have done everything right, the ritual should be complete and the so-called eye c would be opened. Of course, you have no idea what that means. No, ma no matter, only fools fear the unknown. Oh, I have to go there now. And it was this way, right? Evil guys 2 or 1? I think... Yeah, this one had people around it. This one was the one that I put the eyes on, correct? Yeah, the these look different now. I don't know why. Whoa. Oh, these guys look a lot cooler too. And if I do... That's not working. How much... Yeah, I have a hundred of every one. No. Yes! There you go. I must well turn this on. Oh! I guess you just activate by walking close. Let's see what new world we will get. This has to be one of the most fun, most fun I've had in a long time. Uh, like a new that Thomcraft added a new realm. This is amazing, or dimension, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, here we are. Oh, that looks really cool. Glyphed stone, glowing crusted stone. So this is probably the way out. Oh. Whoa! Ow. What the? Is it feeding him? Nah, that's just weird. What about these? Strange crystals? Balance shard. Cool. What are these? Old urn? Oh, you break them in a gold coin? Whoa! 
What the? I guess there's lots of enemies here. Wait, I should mark the way out. B. Exit. There we go. Can I break this? Oh, knowledge fragment. What about this? Glowing crusted stone. Just grab one of each. But getting these for balance charts is really nice. Hmm. Let's see what's more in these. More of those. What in the world is this? This is where you go to if you want knowledge fragments. The Outer Lands. You're not quite sure what you were expecting when you stepped through the oculus. But this strange structure of crumbling stone and twisted passageways was not it. Something's not quite right here. The structure was not designed for any practical purpose. You can discern unless that purpose was for it to be a deadly maze. Strange energies abound and your magic s seem to act strangely in this alien environment. Even the other denizens in your canter seem out of place here. Okay. Glyph stone. Ancient stone. Actually, oh, I should have brought my little eye scanner thingy. Doesn't seem to be much to this. This leads. Oh, hello there. This leads back somewhere. What is this room? What in the world are these? What are they called? I should I catch one of these? This is a w nice way to get ender pearls, though. You know what? I'm gonna head back out. Where was the way? Ah, there we go. Exit. Okay, it is pretty big. And here we are. Turn that one. I wonder if I can get different ones set up as portals. It, where was home? Yeah, I thought so. And homeward we go. Oh, they also uh, fixed quite a few things like before. Um, if the void jar... Basically, the void jar wasn't considered the last uh, choice. If it would only be considered choice if it didn't know to put something anywhere else. What I'm trying to say is if I had an empty jar with nothing on it, it would choose the void jar before the empty jar with nothing on it. But if I labeled the jar, then it would choose that one as a priority. Okay, I need the scanner thing. I'm going to scan everything in there. Maybe something will give me new research. Where is that? There we go. Is that recharging already? I was expecting to recharge that fast. Capacity 59% average fist cost? Hmm. Let's leave that there. And turn the magnet off. Let's see. What is this? Like the gold coin. Lucrum. Glowing crusted crystal. Ancient stone. Have I not scanned ender pearls before? Why is that new? Ah, probably because I updated. I've lost all the research, didn't I? Damn it. Yeah. And nothing will have more than six aspects on it now, I think. But, oh well. 
It's a great way to get knowledge fragments. Not that I really don't already have 34. Oh, and uh, they change it so that warp effects won't affect you as much anymore. Like the less, unless you actually keep on uh, getting warped, it won't affect you. We're almost out of time though, so I can't really. Maybe next episode will be more to exploring that place. This episode, maybe we'll just do a few more things around here. Like, I really want to know how to get that. There'll probably be something in there I have to scan. But Thaumaturgy, I think it was here? Yes. Let's try to make this. Primal Charm. I should have some in here, shouldn't I? I have one Primal Charm. Okay, one Primal Charm. Arcane Stone. Okay, I'm gonna need more of those then. Stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and blah 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 blah. Let's just try and get sixteen. Luckily, I got a lot of primal shards from that place. That's why some of my research is has been disabled. Nothing can be learned from a nether shard. That's interesting. Okay, I scanned that at least. Uh, so I needed that. Oh, I needed shards. Maybe. Five hundred and twenty will take two of these. Okay. Are you full yet? Yes. I think it was like this? Yes. Okay, I can see that. So I have that, those, table to iron to gold. Make a table again. Slab. One, two, three. Plank. Uh, what was I going to do? Iron. Two. Gold. One. All that th research gone. Oh well. It was a major update, I can understand why. So what was it, like that? That? Okay, these were in the middle. This was on top. I think gold was on the top and iron was on the bottom. There we go. Not that that won't recharge in a couple seconds. Where should I put this? Like, what if I was to... Where did that focus go? Hold on, focus this. Frugal. Increase how large an area the focus power affects or increase the number of targets affected? Hmm. I think I'd rather go for frugal. Or maybe area. I don't know. A lot. Let's go for area. Experience cost. How do I not have any experience? Uh, 
Essence berries. Oh. Suddenly I'm level 69. Is it actually draining from there? Think so? Enlarge. I wonder how many of these it'll go for. This is sort of cool, though. What the? Architect. Gives a lot more control over the area. Certain, the exact area that will be affected is displayed, and you can change sizes using the miscellaneous. That's nice. What's this one? This upgrade acts like the fortune or looting chime and increases the chance of getting more such better loot? No. I'm not going to be using this for digging. This is more... Architect. Yeah, visually it's not active, but I'm sure it is. 24 levels as well. Ouch. Enlarge, enlarge. Architect. Haha. <laughs> I like the look of it. But this is going to be the end of this episode. If you like, like, subscribe. If you don't, don't. But hope we'll see you next episode where I think we might just explore that new realm area. Uh, grab a couple safari nets. I need to remember those. Capture some of the creatures in there just for use in case you need to farm them or something or other. Uh, come on, you can go faster than that. Terra's 15. Terra should be done in no time. Nakwa is... 13. Strange Whispers reveal secrets to you. Okay, sure, why not. And this entire episode, nothing bad has happened to me. That's pretty good. I wonder if I could still enchant these with... No. Well, let me put it in there. And it looks like when I picked it up, it became normal? Did I pick up the wrong one? No. What about this one? Pick you up. Oh. Went back to normal as well. And that's done. Enlarge. 32 levels. This is going to be a lot of experience, but it shouldn't be too bad. But, like I said, I'm going to episode here, so I'll see you next episode. Take care.